Hey yo everyone, what's up? Your boy just hit up Area 51 and I was able to get my hands on some goodies as you can see, rocking the new Tesla spaceship and also I got my hand on some Martian loot. We're gonna be checking out Martian loot from not only Vanilla Terraria but of course Modded Terraria as you can see we got Thorium, we got Spirit, we got Shadows of Abaddon, Calamity and of course Vanilla. So let's hop into it. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's take all the Vanilla loot and let's go down here to our testing grounds right underneath our spaceship and uh, as you can see here we got some statues where we can spawn some of the martians on our right and we got dummies on the left to test out weapons and uh, let's just start going over some of these weapons starting with the laser machine gun now this is a very good weapon if you play vanilla terraria you probably know most of these weapons that i'm gonna show off but just in case you didn't laser machine gun it's a laser machine gun that's really all that's that's legitimately that's it it uses mana which is a cool thing it's magic damage and it uses mana which is really nice moving on to our next one the xeno popper now this is also a very cool weapon i'm having trouble shooting it as you can see it shoots bubbles and the bubbles pop and shoot out bullets so you can either hit something directly with the bubbles or say you get some type of homing bullet and uh you know these would home and stuff like that really cool weapon i like it a lot moving on to the next one electrosphere launcher a lot of these weapons i feel like are underrated besides the influx waiver i feel like this is one everyone gets but personally you know when i used to play vanilla terraria i would rarely get my hands on any of these weapons so some of these are really really cool and in my opinion underrated but i don't know maybe you guys always get your hands on it for me personally i rarely get my hands on these martian weapons but uh, this one really cool has a little electric AOE that it does so you can hit multiple targets at once and see if I can get a good shot lined up here boom look at it. hit them both at once really cool weapon this one uses rockets I believe I like it a lot moving on to the influx waiver now this one this is a weapon that I use especially uh, in melee vanilla playthroughs but I haven't really done one in like a couple years now but yeah this one's really cool as you can see it shoots out a little sword and uh, you know you get close you could also hit them on top of shooting out that little sword the little sword does pierce but it has a very short range so it doesn't really matter you gotta get really close if you want to hit more than one target but yeah the influx waiver there you go moving on to the charged blaster cannon this is a weapon i straight up just don't use it's cool though it is really cool though so you charge it up and you just let it rip now this is kind of like the last prism in the sense of the laser obviously but is you can't control the laser at all other uh, once you shoot it like you that beam is staying there unless you're aiming up like this beforehand like you gotta aim it beforehand but if you don't aim it beforehand yo ooh, that was a bad shot look at that see the laser just going into the floor right there if you don't aim it where you want it to go beforehand it's not gonna be too good you're gonna be missing most of the shots but you can't move around with it that's, that's really it you can't be turning or anything while you're shooting it really cool weapon though moving on to our summoner weapon now this one this one i have some love for this is just a really cool summon weapon it's just just spaceships it's just a spaceship let's go ahead let's summon in a uh, enemy here let's do uh this one why did i choose the drone out of all of them let's do this one as you can see the ufo you know it shoots at them you get a bunch of these guys and you got a bunch of projectile summons and it's just a really good summon weapon overall moving on to one of the best drills in terraria the laser drill this one is a range drill and it's really fast it's as good as the pixel if not even better and the range definitely is a very big thing that helps it out in being a really good pickaxe and it's really cool i love it it's a pickaxe i'm trying to use or a drill i'm trying to use more often and uh you know i'm trying my best when i remember to use it moving on to the next one the cosmic car key come on we all know about the cosmic car key a builder's best friend if you're a person that builds a lot in terraria this thing is one of the things that you should be using and also it's just a really good mount you fly infinite flight it's kind of slow but still infinite flight makes up for it moving on to one of the more rare mounts at least for me one i can never get my hands on but is one of the cooler ones is the skultix brain scrambler what, what is it's called a skultix right skutlix and this thing this thing shoots lasers you see that it's shooting lasers right there and it's really really cool definitely helps out we're doing more damage i don't know if the damage scales on something i would guess summon damage like the basilisk mount how that scales on summon damage but i'm not 100 percent sure on that moving on to the anti-gravity hook this is a really cool grappling hook it's very unique but the thing is i, I don't know i don't find it really useful personally I, I don't really mess with this i just feel like this is really weird and uh this is this is much like the the grappling hook you get from the steampunker also very weird but this one you know it's cool it's a cool idea last but not least from vanilla we are checking out the vanities starting with this one right here the martian uniform which is sort of obviously the uniform of the martians their little battle uniform and then we have the straight up just gray martian regular default martian outfit which is really cool looking i like the martians look a lot in this game i love how they're little tiny just 
that's the wrong one. I love how they're little tiny, just stubby dudes. It's, it's really funny looking. Moving on to our next set of items from the Thorium mod. Now, keep in mind that I may miss a couple items here and there. I had troubles finding certain items. So if I do miss any, let me know in the comment section. And I try to keep it very Martian theme, as in like either directly made from something you get from the Martians or something that drops from the Martians, stuff like that. So if I do miss anything, just, you know, keep in mind that that's what I'm going with in terms of description for the items that I categorize this under. I just said a bunch of words. I don't know if they made sense the way I said them. Let's hope they did. But starting with the conduit suit. Now, this armor set is a really good armor set and very unique because it increases Martian weapon damage, which is such a unique thing. So shout out to Thorium for making a set like this. And the set bonus is moving around generates up to five static rings with each one generating life shielding. When fully charged, a bubble of energy will protect you from one attack. When the bubble blocks an attack and electrical discharge and release at nearby enemies. Really cool. So I got to move around and get it charged up. Oh, there we go. And then if I get attacked by something, for example, these guys, this thing shoots out a little electrical attack, something like that, I don't know. Moving on to our first two items here, two healer items, the shield drone beacon and the molecular stabilizer. The shield drone beacon, some say shield drone to rapidly shield allies, shields ally life equal to your bonus healing up to 25, only one shoulder guardian may be summoned at once. No idea what the hell any of that meant because I have not played healer since way back when, but uh, it looks cool. It's supposed to give shields to someone apparently, one of your allies, that's, that's very interesting. Moving on to the molecular stabilizer, heals an ally life by 18, unleashes a beam of Adam stabilizing energy which bounces between her allies so i'm assuming say if i had two other players here and uh if i were to heal them and say one is here and then one is on a platform up here if i hit the one that's down here the uh, laser will hit them and then bounce to the ally that's also up there so that, that's really cool moving on to the two bard items the triangle one of my favorite bard weapons that i used in the playthrough check it out As you can tell, it's a really good weapon. Okay, maybe you can't tell, but it is a very good weapon. I have used it a bunch during the Bard playthrough and it was one of my favorite weapons to get my hands on because this thing, it may not look like it because I'm obviously not wearing Bard stuff, but this thing, this thing can do some damage. Moving on to the next Bard item, the Music Sheet Turntable. Now this thing is really awesome, check this out. Music Sheets, if you don't know how they work for the uh, Bard class, you place them, you stand near them, they give you buffs and stuff like that. Boom, you place this one, you stand next to this one, look at this. Just bumping some music. I kind of wish it played a little tune or something. But, uh, you know, you, you get what you get. And it's just, just bumping some music. You can't hear it, but it's bumping. Moving on to the next one. A flail called Live Wire Crasher. That, that's really, there's not much to be said here. Look at this. If you stand this close, I can reach all five of them. Jeez. Pretty good. I really do like flails a lot. I feel like they're a very underused weapon. And, uh, you know, one of my favorite things about Thorium is how they added in a couple flail accessories. I wish more mods did something like that because the Thorium adds in these little flail cores. And what the flail cores do, when you hit something, it gives a chance for that flail to drop a little core and that core does more damage. It's kind of like a spiky ball. All right, let's say let's, we want to use this cursed one right here. All right, boom, put it on. And then once you're swinging, you'll see the little cores come out and start hitting things really cool like i said i wish more mods focused on subclasses like adding accessories to support subclasses so you kind of have a reason to play like spear only yo-yo only stuff like that moving on to the super plasma cannon now i think this is a donator item and i don't ever remember seeing this launches an exploding ball of energized plasma can be charged and unleash an empowered version so if we just click wow this is this looks pretty good. You just click, this is what it shoots. It pierces, what, three times and then stops? Yeah, and uh, we can charge it. How long can I charge it? Until there's no sound effect, all right. And, oh, it like doubles the amount. Look at that, that's pretty good. Let, let's try it out here on uh, you know, some actual monsters. And it's not bad at all. I really do like this weapon a lot. I don't know who donated for this item to get in the game. But, but good one now moving on to our two throwing weapons the cosmic dagger and the electro rebounder and let's start with the cosmic dagger oh my god this is a long description i'm mary poppins y'all oh i get it that uh what's the name yondu from star trek whistles into creation an erratic and uncontrollable energy beam the energy beam is channeled and rapidly homes in on nearby enemies the energy beam prioritizes enemies that haven't recently been hit by it okay i looked up the name it's called a yaka arrow i think a yaka so this is like his yaka arrow that he has in the movies and in the comics and uh, let's just throw it out I don't know how it works <laughs> do I got summon an enemy oh okay you summon in an enemy ah look at that that's very cool that's very cool let me let me summon in a bunch of them 
Oh, man. See, these are the type of weapons I like. You know, the one where I don't got to do anything. Last but not least, the Electro Rebounder. I saved this one for last because this is one of my favorite looking ones. Not only did, you know, a fan of Thorium create this sprite during a Thorium sprite contest, but it's just an awesome weapon. Look at this. It's like a frisbee not only that you throw it this way it turns around and hits them behind you this is an amazing weapon I, I just love everything about it all right so you may have noticed this npc walking around now this npc is from the spirit mod and it is the martian scientist npc also known to us as zorg nax what a cool name he does actually have an item on him that i do not have in the spirit mod chest so we're gonna take it out the brain slug blaster so let's just hold on to that uh, let's test it out first actually let's go ahead brain slug blaster shoots a brain slug that latches on enemies hold left click to keep the brain slug active so it seems like this is uh like the piranha gun in a way but let's see it against multiple enemies that's not multiple enemies let's see it against multiple enemies it can hit multiple enemies at the same time but does it latch onto a different one it does latch onto a different one okay so yeah this is like a this is like an upgraded piranha gun oh god i can't hit up there's too many dummies in the way all right moving on to the next weapon the terrestrial ultimatum now these are all spear mob weapons if you don't know this is a nice little cool yo-yo i like the design of the yo-yo and obviously it does this little electric aoe attack which is actually really good for uh wave clearing and mob clearing and just clearing out a bunch of enemies there's a word for it crowd control there you go there's the word moving on to the next one electrosphere grenade warning high voltage i'm expecting this does exactly what i think yep okay we, we got a theme already here from uh these spear weapons no, I'm perfectly fine with this theme because I love me a little electric. Electric is a cool effect. Moving on to the Tesla spike, and it literally just says electric. I wonder what it does. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that actually is different. Oh my god. Electric damage or the electric diva. What was it called? Electrified or something like that? Whatever the debuff is. It's a really strong debuff. Moving on to the next one the engineering rod summons a stationary Tesla turret. This thing's awesome. You know those Tesla turrets that they summon in? Well, guess what? We summon in them in too handle that i think this is a century too so if you're playing with the uh expanded centuries mod you can have a lot of these set up at the same time the spear mod also adds in two new ammo types the electrified arrow and the electrified bullet let's see let's see these in action i don't expect too much other than you know electricity probably didn't choose the best weapons to show them off but you know they do what they do and also the electrified bullets i don't think they're shooting try again oh these these ones pierce and they leave electricity that's pretty good that's actually really good now moving on to two accessories here and a pet who doesn't love a pet this is a pet right not a light yeah it is a pet it's a nice little ufo it's a very big ufo and uh he's got a little electric you know like i said spirit mod really likes their electricity when it comes to martian stuff moving on to the accessories atmos protector reduces damage taken by four percent that's really good may nullify hostile projectiles before they hit the player all right let's see it in action let's see it in action and just see how good it is go ahead hit me with a projectile was that it right there did i nullify that because they're kind of shooting upwards is that considered nullification i i don't i don't know <laughs> moving on to the bubble shield clicks even a bubble of invincibility upon taking fatal damage consumable so i'm assuming what that means is you're about to die right and right before you die it absorbs the damage so you don't die and then it disappears that's what i'm expecting here and uh we'll see it in action won't we there we go look and now i got a little bubble on me the accessory's gone really cool all right last but not least we're checking out some calamity items and some shadows of abaddon items now starting with the armor set here it looks really cool it is the mars tech armor set set bonus dealing damage charges up an energy force field around you that damages enemies and decays over time can be instantly discharged by pressing the ability key which will cause a shock wave to damage all nearby enemies damage range and debuff duration are increased by force field strength as a cooldown of one minute now Nice. Those are really good. Let me go ahead. Let me bind a key so we can show off the shockwave. All right. We have built up our shockwave here. Let's go ahead. Boom. It, it wasn't that cool, but it was pretty cool at the same time. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's start with the three calamity items somewhat related to Martians. I don't I actually don't know if these are all related to Martians, but starting with this one, the FF Essence, which uh, is pretty good. As you can see, it's like a stronger Xeno popper, but uh, you know, not too bad. Really cool weapon. Really, really loud weapon. Next up, Vortex popper. Which uh, shoots a whole lot of bullets. There's bullets that straight up are just coming from the sky. Nice. I like this one too. I do like this theme of uh, bubble type weapons. Alien bubbles shooting out and uh, causing damage. I, I like that a lot. Moving on. The Wingman. Now the Wingman I think is a direct drop. Uh, I'm 
pretty sure and uh it just shoots lasers that's it all right moving on to the shadows of abaddon weapon starting with the plasma discharge fires a high velocity plasma beam that electrocutes enemies yes sir moving on to zapper's insanity i wonder what this one will do triple shot only one bullet consume meteor shots turn to madness bullets madness bullets are faster deal more damage and electrocute enemies so we're using regular musket bullets it does a little triple shot nothing crazy but if we use meteor bullets it turns them into madness shots what are they called madness bullets and uh you know they're faster and deal more damage they look really cool so that's kind of cool that you can like switch between the two type of variations moving on to the extraterrestrial which is a yo-yo and uh, you know how i feel about yo-yos you probably don't know how i feel about yo-yos i like yo-yos a lot but yeah this one inflicts static on hit enemies nice very cool moving on to the phase slasher sends out a phase slash that passes through tiles and inflicts static a lot of inflicting of static but this is really good this seems like a way better influx waiver most of these uh, shadows of abaddon weapons that i'm using right now are made from this right here the mars text chip which i believe drops from martians but yeah moving on to the next one the martian nanoblade throws out homing saw blades five nanoblades can be out at once homing saw blades Ooh, look at that when do they come back is there a way that I could like right click and they all come back at once? No, there's not. Let's go ahead and let's summon in a bunch of enemies here and then try it out. Ooh. These things, these things are pretty damn good. Moving on to the last two that I thought were probably one of the cooler ones from Shadows of Abaddon. We got the Trinity here. You charge it up and you let it go. Look at that. Very cool. Is there any other thing that it does? No right click attack or anything? No, nah, that's that's all it does, and it's really cool. Moving on to probably my top one just because of how cool it looks. The energy flail. Now, this you think it's a flail, so you think it's just gonna shoot straight out and come back. You know how flails do it, but uh nah, this one changes up the flail formula. Oh my god, look at this. This is amazing. It looks amazing. I don't know if the damage itself is amazing, but this is amazing looking and I love it a lot. I just love how unique this is. And you know, I'm a person that loves unique stuff. You know, that, that gets me aroused. I don't know. But yeah, that's all the loot I got when me and the boys head up Area 51. We're going to hit it up again in September. So make sure that you guys sign up and come with us because we're going to try and get our hands on some goodies. I heard that they're keeping Terraria Otherworld in Area 51. So, you know, we're going to need a posse if we want to get our hands on that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like and sub button if you enjoyed the video. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.